Hello everyone, Gianluca Massi speaking on the behalf of the Virtual Telescope Project and it is always a pleasure for me to welcome you on board for this new live event. I apologize for starting this feed later than originally scheduled but I had some troubles just uh, uh, starting this at the originally scheduled time for technical reasons. I was able to fix that and here I am ready to show you a few images of the just happening right now close conjunction involving Venus, the brightest planet, and Neptune, the faintest and farthest planet in our solar system. So it is particularly a joy for me to be here tonight just sharing together those images. By the way, if you have a chance, if you have a binocular uh, just handy, I strongly suggest you to go outside soon after your local sunset, locate in the southwestern direction the bright planet Venus, well actually in the western direction, uh, just look where the sun has gone and uh, during the twilight you will see Venus. When the sky is dark enough, just point your binocular to Venus and you will see uh, also Neptune not far from there. And I want to show you, by the way, what is happening there using a star map. I just uh, created, uh, prepared everything. Of course, keep in mind that this uh, just... Uh, uh, this representation, this map, is uh, strictly valid uh, for Rome, Italy, where I am, but of course differences are uh, just uh, little if you are at same latitude, but still very usable because uh, the position in the sky of uh, Neptune relative uh, to Venus is uh, unaffected by your position on planet Earth. So this is just, as you can see, the western horizon. It is uh, uh, right now here in Rome, but I want to do something, if you don't mind. Let me ask my system to, uh, to, uh, to add uh, this uh, interesting simulation of uh, the night sky. Here we are. So I love this program. And uh, by the way, I want to thank the technological partners of the Virtual Telescope Project. They are Unitron Italia Instruments, Software BISC. Software BISC is the software house uh, which did this uh, beautiful software, the Sky X Professional. I also thank uh, SeaWeb and uh, Telescope Live, all of them technological partners of the Virtual Telescope Project. This is a simulation of uh, our sky at, uh, you can see uh, on the upper, uh, upper left, uh, 6 and 30 basically pm local time in rome and we are facing the western direction the sun has gone you can see of course the effects in this simulated vision of the sunset but of course here you have uh, our planets my friends and uh, if you just ask the system uh, to go a bit faster at some point we we can really see the the night uh, approaching and you look and see you can see here the beautiful couple we want to observe venus and neptune as you can see they are pretty close in our sky okay we can even measure i want also to reduce the number of stars we have on the background after all we are in the twilight so i really don't expect to have so many class so many stars and uh, look i will also try to remove uh, a few more things okay here we are <coughs> sorry look how beautiful very simple, but this is the situation, just uh, putting together planet Venus and Neptune. As I say, this is just a matter of perspective because uh, planet uh, Venus is uh, very relatively close to us. Its distance for us is 1.4, the solar distance of the Earth. I will do this calculation for you right away. I love doing things in real time. 
Right now, the distance of Venus from the Earth is uh, 214 million kilometers, okay? While Neptune, apparently showing the same, the very same spot of sky, is uh, definitely uh, farther. And uh, its distance right now, I want to calculate just to give you an exact number. Okay, it's uh, 4.4 billion of kilometers. So Venus is about 200 million, 200 million kilometers far away from us. Neptune is 4.4 billion of kilometers. So this alignment is a just a matter of perspective, okay? And all this, as I said, is happening between the Aquarius constellation and Pisces. And you have also the beautiful, bright Jupiter planet just hanging higher above the horizon when you will spot all this, my friends. I was lucky to have, after all, good observing conditions and I could capture a few images from the roof of my building here in Rome and I'm very pleased now to share those images with you provided I check that everything is ready to go. Okay my friends, here we are. I want to start with this image because I could capture these uh, while I was setting up everything on the roof it was uh, about uh, one hour ago after all. So these images are basically very, very fresh. And you can see on the very top a bright dot of light that is Venus. Of course, Venus is the brightest object in the night nice sky after the moon. So if you just look for uh, point light sources in the night nice sky, Venus is the brightest, of course excluding uh, the artificial International Space Station that perhaps sometimes could shine even more. So this was the beginning of the evening when I was setting up everything to be ready to go live and take images, okay? So I want now to share with you a close-up. Here it is. This is just uh, the bright Venus, okay, my friends? shining through my camera and uh, also you can see the bright blue sky in the background this is why we don't see here planet neptune because neptune is uh, definitely definitely fainter i will do a quick calculation to tell how much fainter it is and uh, of course, we had to wait for the sky to be much, much darker. Venus, it is about uh, 65,000 times brighter than Neptune, okay? 60,000 times brighter. So while uh, we can see Venus also in broad daylight, of course, we cannot see Neptune even in the middle of the clearest night by naked eye. You need binoculars to spot Neptune, which is, I underline, the more distant planet in our solar system. And I find this uh, truly amazing to see this uh, conjunction. So we have here the brightest planet, Venus, and the farthest, hence the faintest, known planet in our solar system, Neptune, in close conjunction. But when I just grabbed this picture, it was, there was too much light around to spot, of course, Neptune as well. So, the sky was getting darker and darker, my friends. Here we still have Venus, just playing with the different uh, camera settings. And perhaps, perhaps, we could have something here. I want to recreate what I have seen with my The Sky X Professional to compare with you what we are seeing. 
just uh, adjusting a few things okay let me ask the system okay I'm just trying to make clear to make a star map to hopefully share with you what we have okay you have in the very center the bright Venus but if you move on the bottom right slowly at some point you find a dot of light that is I will put in the, the very center sorry the the object in the very center very faint 65,000 times fainter than Venus should be should be I repeat our friend Neptune but luckily I have uh, more and more images taken uh, with a much darker sky and here we start seeing things much better again the faint dot of light in the very center is uh, Neptune while the much brighter 65,000 thousand times more bright brighter is Venus look even better here I'm, ju I'm just uh, surfing through the images I have how beautiful this is look here I love this one by the way just uh, checking to have uh, a nice hit picture here we have this is just perfect look how beautiful it is this is uh, what I hope to capture to share with you the bright dazzling Venus and in the center of the image 65,000 times fainter Neptune my friends hi Neppy that uh, I can share these uh, very beautiful images with you I grabbed this picture with uh, just a uh, digital uh, single lens uh, reflex equipped with a 200 millimeters lens on uh, a tripod so something you can do tonight if you have just uh, such a camera my friends how beautiful it is so the bright the two objects you have here are Venus dazzling and just uh, a bit on the bottom right you have also Neptune how amazing all this is I really love sharing with you this kind of things let me see if I have an image further images look here how beautiful it is this uh, incredibly incredible couple Venus bright the brightest dazzling actually and uh, the much fainter Neptune on the bottom right with many stars around now I want to share also this uh, larger view just to show you many stars all around my friends Not bad at all after all I must say I'm very happy with, uh, with the results I also closed the lens a bit to have the diaphragm making these effects again the, the bright object is Venus while not far from the center the faint dot you see there is Neptune my friends look here as there was, there was also a plane crossing the field of view not bad at all <clears throat> look here And uh, at the very end, I was ready to leave 
after capturing this again with the sorry with our beautiful planet bright venus and again as i said neptune so really to make sure you understand of course venus is uh, this uh, dazzling source while uh, in the on the same the center of the frame you have uh, the 65 thousands less brighter neptune as i said uh, there is a huge difference in distance because uh, venus is about uh, 215 million of kilometers while uh, Neptune is 4.4 billions of kilometers okay and this is also making uh, this huge difference in brightness so friends I really hope that uh, you had a great time looking up with us tonight I just wanted to bring to you these beautiful shots and hopefully make you happy to virtually have a look to our images captured one hour, one hour ago to bring to you the experience of this close conjunction involving Venus, the brightest planet, and of course the other planet that is uh, Neptune, the farthest and the faintest known planet in the solar system. This is just a matter of perspective, as I said, because there is a huge difference in distance. Venus is about 215 million kilometers, less than 2.5 million, just to give you a quick number, while Neptune is 4.4 billion kilometers, much more, my friends. As I said, this is just a matter of perspective. And I really hope that at least looking at these images made you enough curious to go out there. If, and if you are still waiting for the sun to set, just go out there at sunset and uh, from a place offering you a free site on the western direction, locate Venus, dazzling, very easy to locate, just below the other bright object which is uh, uh, Jupiter. And if you have a binocular, it is the right time for you to grab it and look for this nice conjunction spotting Neptune not far more or less one fourth of the one half of the lunar disk I hope that you had a great time looking up uh, with us okay and the virtual telescope project next week will be live again bringing to you another outstanding opportunity to ideally look up together so stay tuned just visit the, the virtual telescope project web page or our website virtualtelescope.eu to learn more about our next event and also please consider the opportunity to support our project you see we are offering greetings for free we will never ask money to share all this but there are bills to be paid and if you want you can support us by donations just offering us something uh, you can to keep this project up and running and we will do our best to hopefully honor such a mission so thank you everyone it was a pleasure to speak to you from Rome Italy sharing the Neptune Venus conjunction this is Gianluca Massi from Rome a scientific director of the virtual telescope project and i hope you will have a great time looking up and i'm already looking forward to have you virtually on board for the next cosmic adventure take care and uh, keep looking up <laughs>